Good morning, my little cherries. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, I'm sorry it's so kind of dark in here, but uh, I'm just to get ready to wake up little man. Chocolate drop and Malia. And look at this, y'all. This is what I brought Malia. I brought her these little shoes. They, I thought they were so cute. I said... Oh, I got to pick these up. So, I brought these shoes yesterday. So, they are so cute. And, um, I got them a, a little book where I could read to them. You know, um, because I'm going to be, you know, trying to send Little Man and Jessica to, um, daycare. And... Malia is going to pre-K, uh, pre okay? So, I'm going to start reading to them, coming on here reading to them. So, that's what I got them yesterday. And, I'm going to get them up. Y'all wake up, little man, man. Wake up. Wake up. Y'all ready to wake up? Look at Malia. Say hi, Malia. Hi. I'm going to get them up, so I'm going to sit Malia right here. Sorry, y'all. And little man, he's going to sit right here. And chocolate drop. So, I'm going to try on Malia's uh, shoes. So, when I come back, um, y'all will see Malia with her shoes on. These are so cute. I thought they were so cute. I was like, I gotta get her a pair of these. But yeah, um, this book called uh, A Rainy Day to Remember. Y'all, hold on, y'all. Let me go turn this down. Y'all, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Yep, and here go Jessica over here. I'm going to read y'all a story, Malia and Jessica and Little Man Man. I'm going to read them my story. Story time. Y'all, hold on, y'all. I'm going to read them a story. Okay. Here we go. A rainy day to remember. Okay. A rainy day to remember. Little Bill. Okay. Y'all, hold done. Mama gonna read y'all a story. 
a rainy day to remember. Okay. Mama gonna read y'all the story. Get y'all ready for school. Okay, here we go. Plink, splink, a dink. Little Bill opened his eyes. What? What's that sound? He wondered. He hopped out of bed and pulled back the curtains. Raindrops were bouncing off the window. And the sky was a dull, dark gray. Oh no, said Little Bill. It can't be raining. Not today. Not today. Little Bill's mother came into the room. Y'all see y'all see them? Y'all see Malia? They love this story. Little Bill's mother came into the room. Good morning, baby, she said. Did you sleep well? Mama, it's raining, said Little Bill. I'm going to the park with Andrew today. He continued. We're going to we're going to sail boats on the pond and play dinosaurs and build a super high sand fort. It can't rain today. Okay. Little Bill's mother Little Bill's mother put an arm around his shoulder. I'm sorry, baby, she said. You and Andrew will have to play inside today. But there's nothing to do, Little Bill sighed. I'm sure you'll think of something to do. You'll just have to use your imagination, his mother said. How about we start with breakfast? Alice, the great Alice the Great is making your favorite panic pancake pancake people. Little Bill joined his sister April and his brother Bobby in the kitchen at the kitchen table. His great grandmother Alice the Great put a plate of pancakes in front of him. Here you go, honey. I made their heads extra big, just the way you like them, she said. Little Bill pours, poured syrup on his pancakes and began pushing them around his plate with his fork. Bobby looked over and pointed at one with an anonymous head. Immunous head. Sorry, y'all. Hey, little Bill. That pancake looks like an alien, Bobby said. Wow, said little Bill. You're right. You're right. <laughs> In... The blink of an eye, Little Bill's plate turned into a spaceship, and his pancake people became real live aliens. Little Bill imagined himself flying the spaceship through outer space. Okay, we're coming. We're coming. In for landing, called Captain Little Bill. Oh no, look out for that lake. Splush. Little Bill's spaceship sank, skid through a giant lake of syrup and came to sticky stop. Little Bill giggled and took a bite of pancake. Mmm, these aliens are delicious, he told Alice the Great. 
Yes. <laughs> Okay, y'all. After breakfast, Little Bill went to his room to wait for Andrew. I still wish we could play dinosaurs today. He thought to himself. Suddenly, he had an idea. Hey, I can make a picture of a dinosaur. He exclaimed. He exclaimed. He clinked. Roar, roar, growled Little Bill as he drew. I'm a giant rhinosaur. My voice like is like thunder. April walked past Little Bill's room. That's a great drawing, Little Bill said. She said, you should show it to Mama. Good idea, said Little Bill. He ran downstairs carefully, holding his drawing. Holding his drawing. Little Bill found his mother in the laundry room, putting clothes in the drawer. A pile of sheets sat on the washer he had another idea mama can i make a fart with these sheets he asked yes you may little bill his mother answered little bill carried the sheets and his drawing into the living room he learned the rhinosaurus again The sofa and drape the sheets over the over some chairs. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Just then, the doorbell rang. Andrew and his mother stood on the steps. Why come? Why come in, Andrew? Said Alice the Great. Take off your those wet things. Andrew took off his boots and jacket. Where's little Bill? He asked. Little Bill bird inside the sheep fort. Hey, Andrew, he called. Bet you can't find me. Andrew ran over. And peeked up under the flap. Hi, little Bill, he said to Bad. It's too wet to go to the park. Little Bill nodded. But I built a really neat fort in here. And it's nice and dry inside. He said, yeah, said Andrew. It's really neat. Okay. Andrew threw a sheet over his head and waved his arm. Look, little Bill, I'm a ghost. Ooh, he said in a spooky voice. Little Bill giggled and wrapped a sheet around himself like a rope. Yeah, and I'm the king, he said. We have to save the kingdom from terrible rhinosaurus. Andrew pulled his sheet off his head. I can jump in. I can jump in and scare the rhinosaurus away, he said. Me too, said Little Bill. Let's save the kingdom. They shouted. They shouted. A while later, Little Bill's mother peeked into the room. The rain stopped, she told the boys. Who wants to go to the park? Little Bill and Andrew looked at each other. Mama, we can Mama, we can stay inside. Little Bill asked. We still have lots of stuff to do here. His mother 
smile. Of course, little Bill, you can stay inside as long as you look like... Wait a minute. You can stay inside as long as you like. Sorry about that, y'all. So, little Bill and Andrew played and played until they saved the whole kingdom. It was a rainy day they never forgot. They never forget. Sorry, y'all. Goodbye, friend. So, little Bill's imaginary imagination saves the day. So, I read Malia Nim a story. So, that's what I'm going to do. Start doing every day. I'm going to start reading them a story. So, um, that way I could get um, Malia ready for um, pre-K. And Jessica and Little Man, they will be going to daycare. Y'all want to go to daycare? Huh? Y'all want to? Y'all want to go to daycare? Yes, mommy. See, they want to go to daycare. And Malia, with her big self, she going to um pre-K. So I'm gonna get them ready and stuff. And um, I will be back with um, Malia's new shoes on. So she got her new shoes. I thought these were so cute. I said, oh, these will be cute for Malia. So um, I got to get Jessica some shoes. And um, little man, he's going to daycare. So I pray you all enjoyed this uh, video of me reading uh, to Jessica and them. Jessica and Malia and uh, Man Man and Chocolate Drop. So, y'all give this video a big, big thumbs up. Smash that button. and um, Or give it a thumbs down. It really doesn't matter. A view is just a view. And I greatly appreciate y'all watching. And until the next time, we love y'all. Be blessed. Bye-bye.